lovelies and welcome to Sleeved Mel 2015. How is everybody doing today? Today is Thursday and that means my weekly weigh in, check up, status update, whatever you want to call it. So this week I asked in my Facebook group and if you're not part of the Facebook group and you are a weight loss surgery patient and are a YouTuber, you can join this group. It's called Surgery Weight Loss YouTube Videos and Discussion. Uh, I have the links down in the description box down below and so I asked a few of you uh, if you wanted to ask questions uh, like kind of like a Q&A that I'll answer a few questions so a few of you have written questions and I will get to that in a minute okay so let's get to stats my starting weight was 220 and my height is five feet three so I'm kind of on the short side so 220 made me look like a little <laughs> Excuse me, Oompa Loompa. <laughs> I'm allowed to call myself that, okay? I started with 220, my pre-op diet, I lost about 12 pounds, I got down to 208, and then I had my surgery done in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Elias Ortiz through a LiderMe.com. Amazing experience. I have to say this every time, click on the link down below as well, or the eye in the sky to hear my story with Tijuana, Mexico. From 220, I am down now. Drum roll, please. I can't do a drum roll with my tongue. I am down to one, thank you. I am down to 140. OMG, what? So that means a total loss of almost, I would say because we're off about a couple ounces, but just about 80 freaking pounds. Almost 80 pounds, I am so excited. OMG, this is crazy. What the even heck? So um, I've lost 10 pant sizes. I went from a 16, 18. I'm down to a size six, which is amazing. I love going shopping now. And you guys, this is just, it's, I'm so excited. I am a little bit determined to get to 135. That is my ultimate goal. I don't know how I'm gonna celebrate with you guys, but I need to find a way. So if you have any ideas besides, cause I already did a dance. I don't know, should I do another dance? I mean, I don't know how I'm going to celebrate. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna celebrate with a piece of cake. I'm not gonna sabotage get into my goal weight. However, once I get to 135, that's going to give me a play range between 135 and 145. I'm going to maintain that weight for the rest of my life between those two 10 pounds. So if I gain five pounds, I'm okay with it. If I gain 10 pounds, that's my limit. So I gotta make sure I work myself all back down and go back to my old ways. So I got this play range that I have a goal because I feel good at 140. And uh, I am not unhappy at all being at 140. If I stayed at 140 the rest of my life, I'd be happy. But my ultimate goal is 135. I want to see if I can reach to 135. That is my pre-high school weight. That is my high school weight. That is the weight that I got married while I was closer to 120. I was really skinny then. Before kids, I was at 135 and I was so happy and I'm happy now at being this weight. So yeah, um, I can't wait for that day and I'm okay with gaining five, 10 pounds in between and just maintaining those, those weights. Um, I will not be getting on a lot of bread, rice, and noodles. In fact, I actually want to avoid rice and noodles. Uh, they are such a heavy type of food that they make me feel ill anyway. So I don't think I'm gonna be eating rice and pastas. Now bread every once in a while, yes, but it depends on the bread and where it's coming from. Cause the last time I had a piece of bread, oh, it made me so sick. So sick so I don't know if it was because there was more chemicals in that bread and I know I don't have a gluten allergy because I eat foods with gluten in it and I don't get sick so want to maintain that way let's get on to questions how fun oh my god I'm such a dork first one comes from Jamie Bradley aka Sleepy Nicks what's up girlfriend all of their channels are in the description as well if you guys want to go over to their channel some have just started some have been on this journey for a while as well 
So make sure you guys click on their channels and go check them out if you have not yet. So this one's from Jamie Bradley from Sleevy Nix. She says, I would, but I think I already know everything about you. Do you have a reward for yourself or bucket list for hitting your goal? I was just talking about this too. Okay, so I don't know. If anybody, like I said before, has any ideas that they could give me, I don't know for when I hit my goal. I don't know what I wanna do. I lost 85 pounds, what are you gonna do next? I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I am not going to celebrate with food. I'm probably just going to celebrate with buying a new outfit that fits me. I'm hoping to get down to at least a size four to six. Four to six. I'm so comfortable in size six. I get so many compliments. You guys have no idea. That is the best feeling ever with all these compliments that I'm getting. Thank you for qu your question, Miss Sleevy Nix. Next one is Lindsay Broussard, and her channel is Lindsay Broussard VSG. And she says, do you see your former self? I'm still huge in my head, and I'm just wondering if you're dealing with this since you're a bit farther out than me. Um, okay, so I'm almost nine months, wait, 10 months. I'm almost 10 months, May, June, July. Yeah, I'm almost 10 months. And I don't have that fat mentality as much, but there are days I get, I look at myself with my stomach, and I see this and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get, when I look in the mirror and I see that and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so fat. I gotta get out of that habit. I can't stay in that habit because no, I'm not fat. I just, you get, you stay in that mentality. And I even think even skinny people feel that way when they have a pooch and they look at themselves and say, oh my gosh, I'm so fat. So I think that may just always be there um, as far as looking in the mirror and going, oh, I'm so fat. But I am actually, Lindsay, kind of out of that fat mentality. So I actually feel a lot more confident. I feel great. I don't feel that fat stage anymore. In fact, when I go through my clothes and I'm like, oh my gosh, and it's like three times the size as me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this does not fit. Yay! Oh my gosh, this does not fit. Yay! It, I just keep seeing so many things that make me feel skinny that I don't, I'm not getting that fat mentality anymore, which is great, and I'm loving it. I am loving it. And I'm a happier person now because of it, and I was so depressed. You guys don't even know, I was so so depressed over my weight issue and feeling sick and sleepy all the time I was I'm just glad I'm out of that so no actually to be honest I don't see myself in a, my former self when I look at pictures and I'm like oh was that me I can't believe that was me ten months ago crazy okay Janie Ott from C. Jane Shrink says, what is your first non-scale victory and what is your favorite non-scale victory? My first non-scale victory. I would have to say noticing I was fitting in, my clothes were looser. I think that was my first non-scale victory. I think that was the first one I had said. I'd have to go back and look to see what my, I think it was when my clothes started getting big on me, when they first started falling off and I had no clothes to fit in because they were all too big. I think that's my first. My favorite non-scale victory, I love shopping. I love shopping in the medium sized clothes. My favorite non-scale victory is actually shopping for smaller clothes. I love knowing and going shopping and knowing that I can fit in a size medium or a size six and not having to try it on and just buy it right then and there and be like, oh, I know this fits me. That's my favorite non-scale victory. Okay, next one is Patrice Levy. Her channel name is Made Up Mama. She says, what is your biggest tip for breaking out of stalls? So my biggest tip is a liquid type of diet. Like what you do on your pre-op. I would go suggest to step back to the pre-op diet. That means straight up protein shakes. I would do a protein bar. I would do soups, popsicles, Jello, kind of like a protein diet. Step back from the carbs a little bit and do like salads and chickens and very high protein. That's actually kind of my diet every day. Maybe that's why I'm a little bit more successful every day because that's kind of what I eat pretty much every day between cheese and chicken, low carb, everything. I don't consume chips and stuff. So I would suggest to go on a low carb, high protein with liquid diet. But I call this a reset. So I only do it like every other day if I need to reset myself, if I'm in a stall. So all I do is a reset. So I don't recommend being as far out as I am 
to be on a full liquid diet all the time. That's just not healthy. You need your calories. Also, you need to up your calories too because your body burns calories faster now because you have a small stomach. So the I eat every two hours. So, and that's small meals, like about this much. I eat every two hours, whether it's uh, some ham and cheese to, you know, um, anything with protein in it, little things of just chicken, straight up chicken. So I eat every two hours, I snack and eat meals throughout the day. Tara Carey Time Meyer, I hope I say that right, uh, Time Meyer, Time Meyer. She says uh, her channel is Tara Short and Sleevey. That's a cute name. <laughs> she says, do you feel drawn to bad foods? If so, how do you control your cravings? I'm beginning to wonder if I need hypnotherapy. Oh, <laughs> Hypnosis. Okay, so you see this? That's my son's. I'm not even craving it. However, when I do crave it, I take one or two and that satisfies my craving. So I am dead serious when I say this. You need to find a substitute for those cravings. If you're craving cake or chips or something. For chips and anything crunchy and salty, this guys, right here, Mr. Cheezos. And somebody else recommended something to me. I'm gonna have to get off of Amazon um, through message and I'll try those and I'll recommend those if I like them next time. But right now my thing is for uh, chips, craving of chips or crunchy and salty. Mr. Cheezos has 10 grams of protein, organic with uh, uh, quinoa, and it has only six grams of total fiber, uh, carbohydrates. It has no artificial hormones. This satisfies my cravings, and it's not a lot of carbs. I can do this. This is amazing. And there's all sorts of different flavors. I get them off of Amazon by the box. Uh, let me show you the box. This is what the box looks like. So this one's cheddar. I also have Parmesan. I like the sweet chili. I mean, they have many flavors. Go on there and see which ones you like the best. They have, I like the herb ones too. And then for my sweet cravings, I'm so, and I promote these all the times. I should be a paid sponsor, but I am so addicted to these Power Crunch bars, specifically the peanut butter. If I have a sweet craving and I cannot handle myself like with a cake or something like that, um, I eat one of these. This. Seriously, I am not joking, satisfies my sweet cravings. So if I want to eat bad foods, I have these in the car. I have these in the car and on hand, anywhere in my bedroom, in the kitchen, in a drawer, um, anywhere I go, I bring these for a snack. If I go on a trip, I bring several of each because if I am craving something bad, even when I go to Disneyland, I'll be bringing this stuff and I drink a lot of G2s, like Gatorade 2s. They have less sugars. So Gatorades really help on the uh, curbing the craving as well. So thank you so much for every single one of your questions. I truly appreciate it. If you have a question, leave it in the comment below. And um, if you are part of a the YouTube community and you are on YouTube, you can join up on Facebook. We do screen every single one of our people that join, so you have to be a weight loss surgery patient. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a long one. I was just trying to get all this information in. You guys are amazing. All your love and support and your comments are amazing to me. You guys are awesome. Not me, you guys are awesome. I appreciate every single one of you and every single one of your comments. Even if I don't respond right away, I am still reading them and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so, so much. I am going to try to keep myself accountable for the next five pounds so I may post a exercise video of me running or something just so that way you guys can see that I'm trying to keep myself accountable on YouTube. YouTube makes me accountable. You guys make me accountable because I come in here and you guys check in with me. So thanks for keeping me accountable and keeping me on my toes with your comments by saying that I'm inspiring to you. That keeps me accountable. So I am looking forward to next week. I'm hoping to be in the 130s by next week. Uh, keep updated on my Sleeve Mel 2015 Facebook page. I may post once that I'm in 130s, I may post pictures on there as well. And we will see you guys all next time. Love you so, so much. Ciao, bye. Ah. It, it's just uh, something that 
craves it. And, uh, uh, okay. I love going and knowing that I'm bigger <laughs> up. I think, no, no, no. I'm gonna backtrack. I'm gonna restate this. Is, oh boy, at my uh, videos. Uh, I would have to say, okay, uh, Ah, okay, so we're going on so long already, or um, so far. So, uh, I just, but, uh, and uh, the, I just, I just, 80 pounds. Uh, drum roll, please. I can't do a drum roll. Wait, drum roll, so, uh, 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 so, <sighs> called surgery. <laughs> uh, excuse me, what are you doing? I figure out. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate sniffing your butt. And, um, hey, get away from my camera. So, um, yeah. Okay. Oh, how many times are you gonna do this, Figaro? I know you want attention, but seriously, get. Bye.